goes out to Cataclaw. What's up, buddy? How you doing out there? Time for us to give away some stuff. Right, Sib? Yep, and we got some good prizes for you tonight. Thanks, XCOM, for saying our intros are wunderbar. A lot of, lot of, lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into those things. Um, XCOM popular COH1 streamer. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you followed us. Sib has got a whole long list of names to read off, so let's get right into it, Sib. Deliver. All right, first one on the list, we got Bombers underscore. So that would be Bombers underscore. I'm going to throw your name in the chat, send a message to Sunday Night Fights. What you does he won. win? You win a Soviet counterattack commander. OK, moving on. Next winner is Quebec One. Quebec One, you win. Quebec One, congratulations. Soviet urban defense commander. Third winner of the night is NTD. Congrats, NTD. <laughs> NTD. <laughs> NTD. I you, could, you. you could slash that one and give it to someone else, because uh, I think he NTD already has had has been given access to the commanders. And plus, he doesn't get it because he trolled us. He said something about, oh, Mud will bring me back to the game. Some kind of nonsense like that. So veto. I veto that award. Let's give that to someone else. I'm sure NTD okay. won't mind. So in his stead, gaming Remo. Remo. Send a message to some night fights. All right, cool. You win the German Ostruppen commander. Congratulations, Remo. All right, you can play the, the commander that we just saw Barton using in the last game. Fourth player to win is Lewish. Lewish. I recognize that name. He's an avid poster on Kotu.org. Um, congratulations, Lewish. You win a German Joint Operations Doctrine commander. Good stocking stuffers. You just put the code on a little slip of paper, put it in your little brother's stocking. Yeah, I'll send the codes that way. It's all right. <laughs> uh, this one's a little bit difficult to pronounce because it has a number in the middle of the name, but I assume that's an E. Tangle. Tangle, I hope you're saying it right. You win the German Lightning War Commander. Congratulations. Tangle, congrats. The wish is there. He says, sweet, cool. All right, next one. Pick a dwarf. Congrats. Pick a dwarf. Dorf is German a, tiny, a tiny town in uh, in in uh, German. Berlin would be a Stadt, and and a little small town would be a dwarf. Just so you know. I don't know if that's what he means by it. But... I avoid this town as one of commander. Okay. Next one, L Company. You win the final commander of the evening. That would be the German Storm Doctrine. Send a message to Sunday Night Fights. We'll handle your request. Congratulations, L Company. The, yeah, the way this will work is just click on that green name in chat, Sunday Night Fights, and then you have the option to send a message. So just say a message. Say, hi, I'm you know L Company, and I won. And then at the end of the show, we'll reply with all the keys. So you'll get your keys later this evening. All right, let's move on to the skins. Uh, I kind of am I'm more enthusiastic about the skins than the commanders, so uh, let's see who wins these. All right, here comes the pretty stuff. First skin, winner goes to Rotfew. I don't know how to pronounce that army. You're better off with this. 
Uh, let me see it in the chat. Uh, I like trying to pronounce people's game names. It's, it's, it's always a challenge. Go, go. He wins a German Case Blue Summer Pattern for the heavy vehicles. Okay. I don't see the chat yet. I don't know if it's lag or what, or I missed it. Uh, maybe, maybe type again in the Twitch sure. chat, his name. I want a professional broadcast like mine. Th Dude, this is not the best mic that you can get. I mean, it looks cool because it's a, uh, you know, it's like a mic from from a band. You know, it's like, and I've got a boom uh, stand, which is kind of cool, so I don't have to hands free. But um, yeah, this is just a PV like forty dollar, uh, you know, cheapo mic. You can get a condenser mic for hundreds of dollars. There's much better stuff out there. So, anyway, all right. So carry on. All right, next one, Hob C. Congratulations, you win the. German Stalingrad winter pattern. Congratulations. How many we got left? We have three skins left. Okay, Next three person. skins. Tabuya. Congratulations. You win German Stalingrad winter pattern for the medium vehicle class. Okay, Tabuya, congrats. Uh, just a reminder, we're going to be giving away uh, Rome Total War 2 at the end of the show, and that's why we're plowing through everything now, because... Barton's got his back up against the wall. If he loses this next game, our, our episode is over. So we're going through all the commanders and skins right now. Who's next, Tib? Next one's Iron Cross 6666. You win Soviet four-color Belarusian front for the medium vehicle class. Congratulations. All right. Congrats. Hey, there's Tabuya in the chat. He says, yeehaw. All right. Congrats, man. And the final winner of the evening is... Not final, Dashmus. second last. Penultimate. Ooh, forgive me. Penultimate winner. There we Dashmus. go. What? Fight. Yeah. What's it called? Pashmus? Pashmus? Dashmus? 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 All right. Yeah, I have no idea Dashmus, how to pronounce Dashmus. that. You I'm just happy if I can pronounce, like, noun in Siberian. That, that's, that's my job done for the evening. <laughs> it's all right. So if you're full color Belarusian front for vehicles, congratulations. That's the All vehicles, right, though. cool. Got that out of the way. Um, these uh, will be available to you. To uh, All you have to do is message Sunday Night Fights by the end of our show tonight, and we will respond immediately with your key. Uh, if you don't claim your key, it's going to go onto Facebook, so keep an eye on Facebook. We'll probably be just, like, surprising posting keys for anybody to grab whoever's first um, later in the week. Uh, it's going to be a big week for Company of Heroes. You heard Jeff Simpson now and talking about the next update, which will hit on Tuesday. Um, right now, it is 2-0 OMG Pop over Barton PL. We're moving uh, venues over to Langerskaya. And uh, at the very end of the show, we'll give away our final prize. That is a Rome Total War II key. Siberian, are you ready for game three? I'm ready. Let me just load it up real quick. All righty. I'm going to bring us in game and bring my overlay up. There all the colors and factions should be correct. Okay, I am following once again OMG Pop in blue, starting in the south as the Wehrmacht on Langres. Hopefully Langres will be getting the updates soon. We're going to add some green cover here. Uh, White Flash worked with Eagleheart to make some changes to this map. Um, no longer will this uh, MG cover as much of these points. And um, there will be some more cover here so the northern player can fight for his cutoff, just as the southern player can. So we'll be looking forward to those changes. I'm not sure if they're in Tuesday's patch, but I know they will be coming very soon. Uh, maybe they'll be in the beta, which you can join. Full, right, full screen, Army. Full screen, full screen. Um, oh, oh, yep. Go in game. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we are. All right, I'm going to count us in. Ready? Uh, you following OMG Pop? I'm following Pop. Okay, look. I'll follow Bottom. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. We're going to unpause in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, here we go. Straight tier one from Pop. No funny business. Double conscripts from bottom going for the cutoff cap. 
And two Grens coming out from Pop. I could just throw up the tactical map and, oh look, we can even see their waypoint flags. And now I can just go AFK and maybe get a bite to eat. Uh, I, I mismanaged my day, Siberian. Uh, usually I try to eat, obviously, before the show because it can run four or five, five hours. It's, and it's sort of right during dinner time. But uh, I wasn't able to eat. I, 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 got the, I got all these interviews and cams set up. And so I am a hungry Ami. Whoever's in Berlin, send me a pizza. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Someone offered to do that once in, uh, in one of our past episodes. I found that to be so charming. Of course, wasn't able to take him up on it, but um, yeah, I'm in need. I am in need of food. Elf needs food badly. All right, we have our first little engagement. It's workers by the well. Bought it in a house. I think with the adjustments, this map will be the kind of quality tournament map, tournament map that it deserves to be. Yeah, I think it's close. Yeah, I fully agree with you. We have the sector! In its current state, there are some daunting issues, but with the changes, it will be a great map. We've added to the fatherland. So, nothing unusual yeah, from yeah, Bottom this time. No four combat engineers, we just got four conscripts. I assume he's going to be going How for monitors yet. Alright, they're just capping besides that one forward garrison. Now we got some action. I really like these super huge hay barrels. I think they have a lot of character. It's one of the yeah. nice uh, additions to Code 2 and changes in the map. Um, that's another thing that will move, actually, is uh, Flash is going to move this green cover, these hay barrels by the north uh, strap point, and, and this um, little wagon. He's going to move those out of the VP, so you can't just, like, sit in the VP and cover. I know that that's one of the changes that's coming. All right, OMG Top has played this map before numerous times. He knows what to do. Everyone knows the dreaded north cutoff push, and he's doing exactly that. He's focused this entire army on cutting Barton off. So now Barton is entirely cut off from the entire side of the right map. And OMG Top is just in a comfortable position. He's going to sit in cover, he's going to cap behind him, and Barton's going to have to retaliate somewhere. Yeah, it is so tough to retake this point, and this is exactly what we've been talking about as far as adjustments that need to be made to the maid. Uh, need to be mapped to the maid. Um, we are eager for this to occur. We're, we're still a little short on quality tournament maps. It seems like the same maps get vetoed uh, each week. Uh, no tournament players want to play in cold tech. We can, we can say that much comfortably, right? Barton is doing a remarkable job pushing this. Yeah, he's throwing Good everything idea. he has at it, and that's kind of what it takes. Yeah, definitely. I agree. There's no way around it. You just gotta commit. Okay, so we have Molotovs and five conscripts on the field for Bottom. Interesting that they never threw any Molotovs during that push. Yeah, I assume because of the momentum of the fight, Bottom fell. Uh, up together. For, a, for a second there, Pop had three Grenadiers in that house in the middle. I didn't even know that house could fit three squads Grenadiers. And there's plenty of windows. Check out Pop with the OMG build, yo. What up? What up, MG42 in the house? Good, good decision or bad decision? What's your call, Siberian? Uh... I'd like to say good decision, but I kind of feel the MG42 is definitely underpowered in this current patch. So it could definitely backfire against the build, which is as safe and strong as the 5 conscript build with the Pontops. But we'll see how it I mean, you know, look at those conscript kind of just walk through that bit of fire. They didn't even consider going down. It really is a bit of a pea shooter now. I think it's getting a little buff. I'm not exactly sure. All right, that house is burning, and, and, and Barton's in it. I think he's taking a little bit of flame damage still. I mean, Barton's map control is looking stellar. Yeah, Barton is definitely on form this game. He's punishing MG possibly in that position. His MG is angry. He's down 2-0 and he's angry. He's going to get back into this contender bout number three. He's on a how mission. Many, how many Grenadiers has MG Pop built? Four. Four, okay. So, yeah, you could immediately see the effect of not being up to the same number of infantry squads. 
I feel OMG Pop gave up on a cutoff too easily. He should have probably I know, right? delayed. He kind of just backpedaled away from it without really fighting for it. Yeah, Man. I understood why he did it because he was outnumbered, but if he had delayed a little bit, waited for this MG, this could have turned the entire engagement. Th that's the thing. I think he was trying to backpedal and bring up the MG as a reinforcement and kind of lead Barton's infantry into the MG fire, but the timing was just wrong and the MG wasn't out far enough to be able to do that for him, and he wound up just having to retreat all his grenadiers, and then he really lost a foothold. Okay, yeah, the, the, the Pop SDKFC 251 is on the field, and it's halfway upgraded. Um, this is the next big question, this next stage of the game. Will Barton be able to deal with it? His map control and resources are looking just fine. He's sitting pretty. Now, will he be able to handle this unit as Pop right, moves for the cutoff? We've already got 80 grenades, so he's pretty equipped to handle this. He just has to get the position. Okay, the flames are out. Or should I say, oot? Since I'm talking about OMG Pop from Canada. And here they come. He's going to try to see if he can keep the conscripts from re-raising this point, which is now cutting him off the right side of the map. He avoids the 18 nades successfully. He's yeah. got his Grens there. This could shape up to be a good fight, but Barton does cap and reconnect. Here comes the MG for support. Here comes everything. Hmm. Barton has managed to secure the house once again, so he's he's been denying this munitions point for MG Pop the entire game. Conscripts moving forward! No, sir, did they not even think about getting an 18 made off? Perhaps this squad would have a better luck flanking and throwing it over the head draw. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. Pop getting very aggressive, pushing forward. He's trying to get that cut off, and look at him. He's really good with the Grenz. He's moving over to the west and cutting him off on that side, too. So these, this move here will actually cut Barton off the entire map. That's actually not correct, Ami. Oh. Um, ah, burn. It's Pass okay. The mess up. <laughs> String me up. <laughs> All right, he's the still going to shoot to the left. Point is actually the cut -off, yeah. We got guards on the field. So that should hold the same half of the base. All right, guards are here. He's oh wait, oh there's a possible nade, possible nade over the hedgerow. He doesn't see it. He doesn't go for it. I don't know if he had eyes on through the fog of war. I don't think he had line of sight. Sweeping for mines. Pop being super conservative with the minesweeper upgrade. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose that hard track to anyway. Oh Barton, I'm worried for you, man. I don't want you to get knocked out so quick. I want to see some more life. Okay, this will finally complete the cutoff of the left. Yeah. The oh, this half truck is in trouble. Barton's spreading the fight around. Is it in trouble? I don't know. He's got so much support uh, there. Yeah, his, his micro is on form. If he got an 18 native. How close is Barton detecting to something? I mean, like, where are the T70s? Barton is floating 170 fuel and 330 manpower, so I'm not entirely sure. Okay, well, we don't want him to make a macro mistake. Yeah, Maybe he wants to overwhelm him with infantry? Okay, his combat engineer is on that retreat, so I assume he wants to tech. Pop built an extra squad of pilots. He really wants repairs. I guess he lost the Minesweeper squad, which I missed. Nade in. Pop kind of sucking it up. Big fight in the center. Barton's trying to reconnect. He's granted down to two men. And the MG does have one conscript squad suppressed. Wow, they're all just sort of standing in the in the cutoff point. These uh, Panzer Grenadiers are so good at close range. And they're slicing up guards. Yeah. Oh, oh guards drops the PTRS. It's going to be reclaimed by some This conscripts. is a massacre. Yeah, this is tough. Pop looking pretty strong. Now the entire map is flashing, which I can show. All right. All right, did It's desperate time for Barton. His tech was slower than I think it could have been. Definitely. This is like a crucial moment for him. If he wants 
to stay alive in this battle. His next push is going to have to be successful. He's spreading his forces, so I assume he kind of wants to overwhelm OMG from all sides, but whether he, that's successful or not, it's, we'll see. Pop is a little sloppier with reinforcing. Um, may, I don't know. Okay, he's reinforcing these guys, but in, in that first game, he was so tight. Like, I really think that his Wehrmacht in game one was flawless. But I'm seeing in this game... That he's had, I don't know, maybe he feels like he's leading, you know, some players. They feel like they're getting ahead. They feel like they got this. Maybe he's not as tight as he was. Still How much fuel does Pop have out of curiosity? He's got 105. So, okay. plenty. Um, he just bought a pack. Uh, there's There have been no moves to upgrade the second battle phase. I'm just, like, waiting for Barton's tech. Anything yet? I mean, how far along are we? Okay, he's just finishing tier three. Yeah, the tanks will stop rolling now. I mean, his fuel is not too strong right now. He's only got 50 in the bank. No. He has managed to reconnect the left. And he's stalling nicely in these houses on the right. Although, here comes the flame truck. Flame truck burning you dudes. They've got to retreat. That's a tough retreat. More flames are laid in. Barton's trying to sort of like ninja this strat point, but the MG, let's see if he'll even be able to stop this capping. They're suppressed, and now they are no longer capping. I think they crawled out of the circle. These Panzer Grenadiers are here to get him at close range, and Pop really spreading out to cap. I'm yeah, not but... sure yet. I don't know. You know, like eventually the tech's going to hit, and I don't know if he should yeah. spread out too much at this moment. We'll see. The T-70 is going to hit any second. Having those two Grenadiers all the way on the right, no foul to protect the flame of hardship with the PGs, not a good position to be in. His MG is being flanked by Conscript, but the flame of is so bad out. Oh okay, man, Barton, can he get back into this? He's looking in such bad shape. The T-70 finally hits. This is the make or break moment. It's, he really needs, he's going to need two to deal with the pack though and, and, and the four Gren squads. Two is kind of the critical mass with C70s, don't you think? Yeah. All right, well Barton's staying on the map. He's got Grenad uh, he's got Conscripts garrisoning that house that he's been favoring all game. He's moving Pop around. The T70 shifting to the left. Uh, Barton's, you know, he's moving his infantry all over the place. I like that. He's really trying to spin Pop's head and make him cover a very long front line. Yeah, he knows Pop is comfortable sitting in the middle, so he's trying to force him to spread out or lose map control. All right, Pop is going for the, the tech combination that he tried against Ivan. He's got Shrek up, Panzer Grenadiers, and the pack. So that is how he's going to try to fight T-70s. Will it be enough? How close are you to the second T-70? Uh, we're only at 28 fuel. Oh man, wow, so he hasn't even called it yet. Oh, oh no. it. The guards and the Nate Nate from the flank. Amazing! That's Martin huge. Getting back in. This is huge. Now he's when there's opportunity, is in. He goes in. Snipes this pack, snipes these PGs. There's no chance OMG can reinforce. Oh my god, Sib, I didn't even see that coming. Did you? Not really, I was busy admiring this T70. I know, right? Somehow, Barton with the like the guards pressure got enough shots in and this flanking conscript squad with the just like winning AT nade. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Now I feel Barton's got a better chance. Yep. OMG Pop's in trouble now. He can't afford any casualties. I mean, it's such an expensive munitions investment. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, Grenadier another hit. Another hit. Now Pop's got to tighten it up because he, he's got a second half track out, but and he's got the ammo. I wonder if he'll upgrade that one as well. That's that's dangerous because as the T-70s build, you know, getting flames, he's gonna need ammo for for anti-vehicle as well. Here comes all the 
Oh yeah, nice split. Those PGs are so low on health, they need to get out of it immediately. Okay, good. They retreat. Molotov goes in. Molotov on the MG, it's got to retreat. The pack is backpedaling. The half track is backpedaling. It's almost full a retreat. full retreat from OMG yeah. Pop. And indeed, the enemy has driven a wedge in our lines. Oh, Pack is getting chewed up by PPSH. Down to two men. He's trying to reinforce, but it's oh. before they get the chance. Bart is starting to feel it. Barton's doing a great job for us with this E70. He's not being careless, he's not being reckless. He's cautiously and meticulously moving it around, harassing any units he can spot. Pop has remanned his pack, but it could get cleared right again very quickly. Pop's had to do a full retreat. The second T70 is out. Barton has an anti-tank gun to complement his enemy. There is an Oswin building, but with that ATG there, I don't think the Oswin is going to be able to plow through this as OMG Pop might hope. You're in the ship now! Okay, so Barden doesn't want to give up the right entirely. He's got his AT gun there. Okay, it's moving in now. He must be sensing some sort of armor. It's now 17 minutes. He hasn't seen any sort of tanks from OMG Pop, so... It's a good bet that he's gonna need that Ziz gun soon. This, these two seventies really haven't had to do much work. I mean, well, Martin's pretty much done it with his infantry. They can really cover flanks. So I mean, the, the chance for OMG Pop to harass the map is now nullified. Yeah, exactly. Guards in a house, man. They're just chilling. They are chilling. Whoa! 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 The Revnade did massive damage. Huge. That was big. Here comes the assist gun. Okay, Barton's in position. There we go. 50% damage to those guards. Oh, oh, nice. nice. That was a little too much. The bat boss was trying to back out of range. These T-70s really get bold and try to go in there and grab a kill. Barton's playing it conservative. Playing it safe. He just lost a guard squad. That kind of hurt. These guys, these poor dudes are just a buffer. They're just stalling for time. There's nothing they can do against those T-70s. Pop's trying to nurse his Oswin back to health. He does have his own pack, but he's really stuffed all of his units right up against the perimeter of his base. We see a nice barrage. Now this can counter units in a building. Yeah. Okay, finally we've got a T-34 coming onto the field. In about seven seconds. Timber. Okay, Pop is trying to lick his wounds, rearrange, get his units into a fighting position so that they can try to contest something. The Russians are coming! PPSH conscripts, very strong, holding the flanks. The T-70s are moving over to the middle behind the central house, which is covering for the AT gun. I got nothing on the way for OMG Pop. He is, um, He's got around 300 uh, manpower and only 47 fuel. He can't afford any kind of armor. Here's no, the T-34. Yeah, the T-34 will finish this off, so no problem. So now OMG Pop can't even flank with this off. Because there's a T-34 right Hey, Pop is trying to reposition his pack, trying to get his strength up. Panzer Grenadiers over there. Nothing has penetrated the T-34 yet. It's sitting pretty. Full health, and look at Barton's army just closing the noose around to the left, going for that third VP. He's going to triple cap now. It's looking really well. Flank, forcing the MC to reset up. Got an 18 8 in on the half track. Wow, oh. clear to conscript squad. That's how dangerous they are. But the Zis gun. 
getting close. Barton being very meticulous to keep the pressure on and not overextend. He's got another, he's got his own Maxim MG on the way. A strange yeah. build. I, f I felt that was an interesting choice considering he had the howitzer unlocked and the howitzer could have done quite a bit of damage to this. Plus. Oh, hell yeah. That's, we, we rarely see howitzers in um, 1v1 battles. I'd kind of like to see them back a bit more. I, do I really want to say that? Because I, I hate how artillery can be used to counter um, vehicles in Pro 1. Yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't like artillery spam. So maybe I don't want him back, I'm not sure, but it's a wonderful unit. So so one T70 just got ambushed and killed very quickly. Uh oh, Barton getting super aggressive on the left. Yeah, he's really trying to close this in. Oh man, he's got him circled. Here come the conscripts. Here we go. Everything's going in now. Oh man, they're really coming from everywhere. There's no way I can show all of this. Half track goes down. Lovely Molotov on the pack. The Panzer Grenadiers and the Treks are suppressed. The Oswin is up against the Ziz, so it's out done. Conscript's going to help the retreating squad. OMG Pop is in a huge trouble right now. Double set ATG now landed on the Oswin. It's down to half health. Of course, this T-34 is not looking any better. He's going to take a pack fire. Now we have an off-map ability oh. called in. What's coming? We've got the Stemovic attack. Oh, man, and the Jews. OMG pops infantry to pieces. And the T-70 is able to finish off the Oswin. Pop's army is in tatters. We got Shreks on the floor. And GG! GG, well played. Lovely flank. Barton stays alive, punctuates the victory with the Sturmovic attack. Even his T-34 will live to tell stories about this. As he wins game three, forcing this to a fourth game. That's good news, fight fans. I'm going to run Allies wins. And Siberian and I will be back at you with game four. Don't go away anywhere. Stick close. We'll be right back.